What's up, my name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'll be going through a couple of settings on top of my previous Cyberpunk 2077 optimization video, but this one is specifically for streamers. We cover everything from DMCA all the way to getting better FPS and more consistent FPS inside of your game and in OBS as well. So to begin, I'm going to be repeating a couple of things from the previous video. I do highly recommend you follow through with my Cyberpunk 2077 optimization guide, linked in the description down below, just so you get the best FPS in game. As, as soon as you start recording or streaming, you are going to lose quite a few FPS, especially in a slightly demanding game like Cyberpunk 2077, even though it's really well optimized already. So to begin, obviously, make sure that your NVIDIA or AMD graphics card drivers are up to date, as well as Windows. The GPU drivers are especially important, as with a brand new game, these are need to be up to date for the absolute best performance. Next up, we'll be enabling Windows 10 game mode. I know in my previous optimization video, I mentioned that having this disabled should give you better performance, but it seems that throughout the year, Microsoft have really fixed hard functions with OBS running as well. Previously, it really killed the performance of OBS. So if you'd like, you can hit start, type in game mode, and then open up game mode settings. Then inside of here, simply enable game mode. But of course, from my previous optimization video, I did recommend turning off Xbox DVR capture, unless you're actually using this feature as well as Xbox Game Bar. These two still apply. Next up, close out of the settings window, press start and type in GPU. We'll be opening up the graphics setting window. Inside of here, we have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Note that when you turn this on or off, you are going to have to restart your PC. Having this on can cause instability in some games, but for Cyberpunk, I've heard that it can help performance more than hinder it. For me, at least, I had to turn this off, otherwise Call of Duty Cold War crashed every couple of minutes. Having it off, fix the issue completely. But if you are going to have this feature on, you'll have better performance in game and OBS. Note that you should not be running OBS as administrator when this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. If you have it set to off, yes, you can run OBS as administrator for better performance in OBS, though your game might suffer a little bit. If this is on, OBS needs to be running as a normal user. If it's off, OBS can be running as administrator. Keep that in mind. Next up, simply make sure that OBS is actually up to date. Simply open it up, click help at the very top, and then click check for updates. If you see that there are no updates currently available, then great, you're already on the latest version. It of course automatically checks by itself, so you're more than likely going to have the latest version anyway. Next up, lower the number of sources and scenes in your setup. Having a lower number of scenes and sources, especially that are turned on, the better your FPS will be and performance will be inside of OBS Studio. Having unnecessary scenes, sources, overlays and the rest enabled or even added can cause some performance impact. And for a slight to major performance boost on some computers, simply disable the preview by right clicking anywhere and then clicking enable preview. This will toggle the preview of what we see on our screen. So if you have it enabled, you can see exactly what your stream or recording will look like. And if you have it disabled, you won't be able to see that, but you'll still be recording or streaming at the exact same quality and settings as you were before, just that it won't be previewing here, meaning that you should get some better performance inside of OBS Studio. If you're using a single monitor setup, you should have this off as you're not going to be looking at OBS anyways. And then the final little hint for OBS Studio is you should be recording using Game Capture instead of Windows or Display Capture as you'll get better performance not only in game but also inside of OBS Studio. I personally leave it on display capture as it seems to work just fine with some games though for really intense games such as Cyberpunk 2077 I'll make sure to disable my display capture and enable game capture as you should be using that instead for the best performance. On top of this you should make sure that every program that you're not going to be using for the stream is closed on your PC for the best in-game and OBS performance. So make sure that mail clients, other game clients, etc, etc are all closed as you're not going to be using them while streaming. The same applies to overlays. If you're not going to be using the Discord overlay, make sure to disable that. I mentioned that in my previous video. Same goes for statistics overlays and things alike. The less you have running on your PC, the better the general performance will be of both your stream and the game itself. Then, if for some reason you're maxing out your graphics card and your stream is stuttering or breaking a little bit, something you can do is simply enable VSync inside of your game to limit FPS to your monitor's refresh rate, which should prevent the game taking your entire graphics card, leaving absolutely nothing for OBS Studio. Running OBS as admin and the game not as admin can help mitigate that issue a little bit, but making sure that you're getting good FPS in game that is limited to slightly higher or exactly the same as your monitor is going to result in the best performance settings for your stream where it won't be stuttering or anything like that. Where exactly do we do this? 
Well, I'll simply launch up the game to show you. Simply launch up the game, head across to settings, and then video at the very top. Here we have the VSync option. Moving it to the left and right, we can choose an amount of FPS that we'd like to lock the game to. I have a 144Hz monitor, so I'll set it to exactly that. Of course, you can limit the FPS here instead and set a maximum FPS. This is not the same as enabling VSync and you shouldn't get as much input lag. The only time you'll start to notice input lag is when the game is manually capping FPS with this slider over here. As soon as you're supposed to be getting more FPS than you've maxed it out to, then you may notice some input latency being added but it shouldn't be too much. Then enabling windowed borderless mode can help you get more consistent frames inside of OBS Studio and sometimes the game as well, contrary to popular belief of running it in full screen mode. Of course, if you're not gonna be recording it, running it in full screen mode is still suggested as then it can take as much of your graphics card as it would like to take. And then finally, besides going through a graphics optimization guide, which again is linked in the description down below, the one thing that you will really want to do as a streamer is head across to the sound tab and make sure to have a look at these options over here. This one especially, disable copyrighted music. This is the anti-DMCA toggle, which is especially important if you're streaming to Twitch. On YouTube, I know that their copyright rules are a bit less severe, where your VOD can just get muted in certain places, etc, etc. On Twitch, streaming copywritten music is something you can get banned for. Simply enabling this toggle over here, make sure that the game doesn't play any copyrighted music, which means that you can safely stream it without worrying about DMCA strikes. Of course, you can have this set to off, and you can simply just lower the music volume here if you'd like instead. Though, of course, disabling something like music in a game like this, where it's story-driven, can be something that negatively affects your gameplay experience. But besides that, that's basically all that we need to know to enjoy playing and streaming Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.